hello everyone welcome to the new video of mainframe in this video we are going to install mainframe in our local system that's mean in our uh, personal desktop or personal laptop we are going to install mainframe and also we will discuss some basics about the mainframe softwares like what we need to install then we will be able to perform all the operation which we can perform on the uh, genuine mainframe first we see what we need like which software do we need to install then we will be able to perform all the operations in mainframe so first we need a mainframe after that we need a operating system for that mainframe and then a terminal to interact with our mainframe so three things we will have to install in our laptop then we will able to use mainframe so the software do we need or we are going to install so mainframe we are going to install hercules emulator s370 like there are any other also mainframe but there that is licensed or or you will have to pay for that mainframe we are going with free software so we can use or for operating system we can install zos it is a latest operating system of mainframe but it is licensed so you will have to pay to ibm to use zos so we are not going to install this we will we go with os vs2 it is totally free to use and the another things that is terminal we will use 372 terminal emulator that is totally free there are many more uh, terminal uh, emulator we can use but we are going to use free software so we are going to install this but if if we are going to install separately like mainframe and the emulator and the operating system it will be take time and we will have to do a lot of setup so uh, for that we are going to install mvs turnkey why because it is a combination of uh, hercules that is a mainframe and the operating system that is os vs2 okay then if we installed mvs turnkey uh, we will install both mainframe and the operating system and the remaining what we have that is a terminal we will install 3270 terminal emulator so that is the link to install those like mvs turnkey for mvs turnkey there is a link in given below and the uh, 3270 terminal emulator you can use this link so uh, link i will ping in the description of this video and also i will share on the telegram channel so i have already downloaded but uh, if you want to see like how to download i show you just go through the link you will be uh, land on this space uh, there are latest version and a lot of uh, upgraded version you can download any of one and also like that you can go on crypto term which i mentioned in the link and download emulator from that i have already downloaded so going to install so here you can see i have downloaded already crypto term emulator and the turnkey mbs so we are going to extract this first one then we will install so i am using winzar for extracting the file you can use any of other uh, software so we are extracting it will take one or two minute to extract all the turnkey so extracting is done so i am going to open after that you will have to go to the unattended folder uh, there is a set console mode double click on that uh, you will see here hercules console mode activated for unrated operations so press any key to continue so press any key and continue after that uh, back to the previous folder and click on mbs bat double click or you can run as administrator and wait for the command and here you will have to to give allow access to install so i just click on allow access and it is installing here you can see and if you press the escape key in your keyboard uh, you will see like this all the process like uh, uh, here all the things you can see about your mainframe 
about cpu one percent two percent and here you can see it is a s370 hercules so it is uh, a main frame but not a genuine but it's behave like a genuine main frame like you can do all the operations which you can do on the ibm main frame in this hercules s370 so just press escape key again after pressing wait it is uh, installing so it will take two or three minutes to install properly so wait for that uh, so finally it is installed like when you see like this tk4 that's mean your mainframe installation is successfully completed so after that we are going to install a uh, emulator to connect with our mainframe so run as administrator and click s yes. so it will take one or two minutes to install a crypto term emulator so here it is asking for language english selected and again next and accept an agreement continue and freeware or private next next and the next and the setup next create desktop icon next and install exit so our installation is successful completed so after opening the emulator you will see like this screen or if this pop-up is not come then you can click on the profile then this will be come so we are going to create new one click new i have already created one because of that it created two so click on open and then you will see connection type that will be telnet and port will be 3270 and the server will be our local host then click on uh, emulation and the terminal emulation will be tn3270 then click on conversion then click on tn3270 and here is keyboard mapping file so give edit uh, here and uh, you will have to map a key with enter with this to this and click on map and uh, you will have to save as okay so it will ask to save to give any name like key and save okay so it saved click on okay then again click on profile and you can see here we have seted all the things and click on connect so here you can see i am giving maximize so here you can see tk4 so press any enter key uh, not recognize so here i am giving log on uh, here it is asking for user id so we are going to give herc01 enter and here it is asking for password for password you will have to enter c u l 8 t r you can also note down that is a uh, user is herc01 that is hercules01 and the password is c u l 8 t r and press enter and uh, now you are logged in the main frame here is the menu one two three watch if we choose option one we are here for review font in press f3 to go back and we are going to choose second option there is main menu we can use different main menu or we can choose different options and the other things if you want to log out means you want to log off from this terminal here is the key that is terminate pf3 just click pf3 
after clicking pf3 you will be uh, here from prompt so enter log off enter now again you are log off so if you want to log in again give enter the id that is hrc01 your username enter the passport that is c u l a t r enter again you are logging into the main frame if you want to shut down your main frame like you can see your domain frame is running right here if you want to press escape key you will be able to see your main frame like it is running here and cpu is also showing so if you want to shut down so so come on the terminal and press pf3 again and here give the command shut down and enter sorry give the hair command shut down previously i gave the wrong command okay so you can see job submitted job shut down submitted ready command and again you will if you want to log on you can log in similarly so that's all for this video uh, we will meet in another video where where i'm going to to show you all the basic things or interface of this uh, operating system or terminal then you will able to use all the things so see you in the next video stay connected with this channel for more further updates thank you